Day Tribe, CloudTech Big Unk here. As a cloud architect with a GED, four certifications, and six years of experience, I wanted to take some time to debunk some myths and cover some mistakes most freshers make in their efforts to become cloud engineers. So, I'm going to start off with myth number one. You can earn six figures as a cloud engineer in your first role. Truth is, you can, but chances are that you're not. All right. While the average cloud engineer entry level salary is around 104 to 132,000 a year, if you're coming in with no prior experience, or certifications, or education, you're looking at truthfully around between 70 to 80 k. Now, don't get me wrong. That's still good money, and it's just the start of your cloud tech career. So you, there's always opportunities for you to negotiate more. But it's important to have a realistic expectations. The opportunity for experience is more valuable than just the paycheck. Trust me. All right. Myth number two. All right. Being a cloud engineer is hard work unless you're a tech wizard. <laughs> False. The hardest you'll ever work in your tech career is becoming a cloud engineer. After that, you'll find that most employers due to HR and recruiters will only have you doing about half of what the job board posted. You see, those job boards aren't often created by the engineers doing the work. They're based on information HR received from managers who aren't doing daily tasks either. So if you fit 30 to 50% of what they're looking for, go ahead and apply anyway. You'll be surprised how much you can learn on a job and what they'll teach you. Myth number three, the cloud tech industry is oversaturated. Truth is, every industry is facing market correction, especially after the tech boom caused by everybody staying at home. People said the market was oversaturated when I was trying to become a cloud engineer back in 2018. But here's the thing. There's always going to be panic and worry, no matter the industry. If companies are still posting cloud engineering jobs, that shows you the demand is still strong and projected to grow. In fact, there aren't enough professionals out there with cloud engineering skills and companies are desperate for talent. That's why I create these videos to help you get the skills and showcase your talent for the cloud career you want. Myth number four, you don't need certifications to become a cloud engineer. Truth is you don't necessarily need certifications, but if you don't have a degree or technical background, you must show that you're a qualified professional. In my experience and coaching students, it's all about certs and projects, not one or the other, all right? Always aim to complete real world simulated projects and collect certifications along the way. Many cloud engineering jobs require them because it looks good for a company to tell their consumers that their engineers are industry standard certified. Plus, with vouchers and certifications costing between $100 to $200, it's a great investment to help change your life. So get both. And if you're having trouble passing a certification, keep completing projects that you can add to your resume and apply for roles. Remember, it's all about certs and projects. All right. So these are those were all the myths that i wanted to bust today if you have any other myths that you'd like me to address share them in the comments below i hope this video has been helpful to you uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel be great be cloud engineers and follow me on social media under cloud tech big on cloud tech big on signing out